What is the IMP research and what is the IMP community of researchers doing? Well, they are looking into a world that most people did not think of or don't think of. Not even economists think of that world. This is the world of companies who are behind every single object. Take a mobile phone. We know that there are 18,000 different technologies needed in order to produce it. How is it produced? Well, someone has to extract the materials, turn it into components, make the uh, machines. That is the world behind each and every project, product. It's not only the mobile phones. This is the same for cars, for pens, for medical, medical devices. So there is a world that of companies working together, selling to each other, buying from each other, uh, and making things. This world is fascinating. Few think of it, but this is where innovation takes place. This is where efficiency is achieved. So it is an important world for what we have and what we can have, what we can afford. Now, this is 40 years of research into that world. That's IMP research and that's IMP research community, main field of interest. What makes it so special is what we know now, after 40 years, about that world and uh, we know that that world is different from how economy is usually presented in textbooks. What we know is there is very little shopping going on between companies. Companies do business on a continuous basis. Volkswagen develops a relationship with a supplier, brings them to be the best supplier of seeds, most efficient, and it's not only best seeds, but it's the best logistics for seeds, best development of seeds over time. That's how companies or businesses do business with each other. This kind of long-lasting, continuous relationships are what is typical of that business. Because of these relationships, the second thing of this uh, so say world that is not considered in books and little known is the interdependencies. Because if you develop your supplier and if you make him to work for you, of course, you will become dependent on him and he will become dependent on you. People often say that IKEA is a terrible customer. Yes, but they also develop suppliers. So mutually they become dependent. They depend on the good supplier and the good supplier depends on IKEA. And this is the common thing of interdependencies in that world. So, long-term relationships, interdependencies. Another thing is that if you visualize two big companies, say Bosch Automotive Components and Mercedes-Benz, there are thousands of persons in both companies interacting with each other. And when we say interacting, we mean that they act and react and by interacting they find solutions for the many products that are being delivered, for the logistical problems that are involved, for the new product development, for fixing the economic, economic deals and, and aspects. We know that in these relationships that are so important for single businesses, there is a continuous interaction going on. 
and it's on the interaction that everything depends. In interaction, they invent solutions. In interaction, they fix problems as they arrive. Without interaction, this world would not be working. Now, if, if, if you accept what the IMP people have found about this world of businesses that we came to call business landscape, if you accept that it has these features of long-term relationships, interdependencies and uh, a lot of interaction, question is, does it matter for those who are working in it? Of course, working in such a world requires very spe special skills. And again, here we come to skills that are often not pointed out in our textbooks in management that are focusing on markets where shopping matters. But uh, skills of interacting with others, skills of mediating, motivating others, making sense of what is happening, responding. This is a world that requires very specific skills. And again, on that, the IMP uh, research tradition has been working, trying to enrich our understanding of those specific skills that are required. So, IMP is about a very specific field, business landscape. It is about what is typical features of this business landscape. Relationships, interdependencies, interaction. And it is about consequences such a landscape has for behavior of, of businesses and managers in it.